Hey kids, the number one here again. Today we're going to talk about the ones place, the tens place, and the hundreds place. I have some straws that I put... Well, they were over here. Now where could they be? Have you seen any straws? Uh-oh. Wow, look how many straws there are. How am I going to count them all? This is going to take a long time. How can I make counting go faster? Hmm. Well, it looks like these are in bundles. A bundle is a group of objects or items put together. Let's count how many is in each bundle. In this bundle, there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It looks like all of these bundles have 10 straws in each. Having these in bundles of 10s will make it much easier to count than just by counting by 1s. We have some here that are not in bundles, and we need to put them into bundles. Let's go ahead and put them into bundles. I will start counting, and you tell me when I need to stop to put them into bundles of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Huh? What did you say? Oh, I see you told me that I have enough for a bundle. Great job. Thank you for your help. Now if we look over here, I have 12 straws. Do I have enough to make a bundle of 10? Let's count out a bundle of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Great job! We still have two more though, right over here. Is this enough to make a bundle of 10? No, it is not enough to make a bundle of 10. There are only two here and to make a bundle of 10, we would need 10 straws. Counting all of the straws is much easier now that they are in bundles of 10. Whenever we put any amount of items into groups, it becomes easier to work with. Let me show you what I mean. If I wanted to count all of these straws, it would take a long time to do it one by one. But if I use my knowledge of grouping, I can count them much faster. Let's practice. We know that these three groups are in bundles of 10. That means we can count by tens. We have 10, 20, 30. We have 30 straws, which is in the tens place. Now let's count the remaining straws in the ones place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What does 30 plus 6 equal? If you said 36, you are correct. Let's try another. Let's count 85 straws. To do this, we first need to get the tens column. Which number is in the tens column? Right, it is 80. How many bundles of 10 do we need to get 80? If you said 8, then you are correct. We need 8 groups of 10 to get 80. Now on to the ones column. We need 5 ones or 5 single straws. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we have 85 straws and we did that very quickly. Good job! We have 8 groups of 10 and 5 ones to make 85. Why don't we try one last one? This one involves using the hundreds place. The number of straws we want to have is 104 straws. Let's start at the left and work our way to the right. In the hundreds column we have the 1 which means we need 100 straws for this column. We do not have bundles of 100 straws, so we will have to use the bundles of 10 straws to make up 100. How many bundles of 10 do we need to make 100? If you said 10, you are correct. Now let's count them together. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We now have 100 straws. Now let's look at the tens column. There is a zero there, so we do not need to add any more groups of 10. So let's move on to the ones column. What number do we have here? How many straws in the ones place do you think we need? If you said four, you are correct. We need to add 1, 2, 3, 4 straws. So how many straws do we have in total? 
We have 104 straws. Great job! You guys can learn to group anything together to help you count, so try this at home. Have fun, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please share the video and subscribe.